With the explosion of drones in the sky, a new FAA-approved protocol called Open Drone ID, meant to track UAVs, isn't designed for security. On this episode of Nullbyte, I'll be showing you for how less than $20 you can create your own device to cast any swarm of fake drones into the sky. To create Drone Swarmer, we hacked the standard drone identification protocol called Open Drone ID, which allows each drone to broadcast their details, such as their velocity, altitude, geocoordinates, and more, similarly to how airplanes use ADS-B to transmit their information. People can easily keep track of drones being broadcasted on Drone ID by using free apps like Open Drone ID, which allow users to visualize UAVs that are being transmitted on the protocol. Although these applications are designed to help users and authorities keep track of drones in their near vicinity, it leaks this information to just about anyone, making it extremely insecure. Since this protocol is by nature unencrypted and broadcasted on an open protocol, it makes it easy for hackers to exploit. Using a cheap microcontroller like the ESP8266, hackers can easily spoof drone ID packets by transmitting drone formatted Wi-Fi beacon frames. This program can send random drone packets that create the appearance of fake swarms of ghost drones. The more ESP8266 modules you add, the more dramatic the swarm will be. You can use this to impress drone enjoyers at drone fields, or if you're running late to a flight, you could always- Angelina, why is the FAA taking all our stuff? Oh no! To see how many ghost drones we can create for $20, we made Drone Swarmer. This prototype is designed to be mounted underneath a drone to create a cloak of ghost drones and uses multiple D1 mini microcontrollers and an ESP8266 breakout board, which only costs $1.80 online. To verify our idea works, I ported Drone ID spoofer to the Wi-Fi nugget and verified it was sending fake Drone ID signatures on the Open Drone ID app. If you want to give this a shot yourself, you can flash it on your own Wi-Fi nugget on nugget.dev. Our final prototype drone swarmer uses five D1 minis to spoof drones. Each D1 mini is powered by a central power source. To power this prototype, I'll be using some random salvaged batteries. Each of the microcontrollers were pre-flashed with custom code derived from the remote ID spoofer GitHub repository. This code uses Wi-Fi to blast out custom fake drone ID packets to spawn ghost drones into the sky. By default, the drones spawn in China, so we need to change the code to max out the number of drones created and set the right GPS coordinates. In order to resolve this problem, we decide to integrate a GPS module into our project that fetches the GPS coordinates of the user upon startup and spoofs drones at that designated location. If you're interested in looking at this code, we included a GitHub repository in our description. To test out the functionality of the device, we monitored the output packets using Wireshark. Using the Open Drone ID packet dissector, we analyzed each of the packets broadcasted by the device to obtain crucial information, such as the drone's unique identifier, GPS coordinates, altitude, speed, and various operational statuses. We used the Airspace Link website to verify that we could fly drones in this area so that our experiments would have no impact on local air traffic. In order to test our device, we rigged it to the bottom of this DJI Mini 2 here, and we're going to be flying it in this vacant field where there's minimal airspace interference and it's completely legal to be flying drones. And we were going to be experimenting how many fake ghost drones we can spawn. Okay, don't slice my face! <laughs> My friend Cody flew around across this entire field, and as a result, we were able to create an entire virtual stampede of DJI drones, each transmitting their own identification alongside telemetry such as their velocity, altitude, and so forth. While experimenting with Drone Swarmer, we came to a hard limit of 16 drones that we were able to spoof with a D1 Mini. Despite weeks of trial and error, we were not able to surpass this limit of 16 drones. So how can you tell a real drone from a fake one? Some ways you can detect for spoofed drones include checking for weird telemetry signals, such as invalid altitude or GPS coordinates. 
In our test, we found that spoof drones appeared at impossible distances or traveled at speeds or altitudes that made no sense. DroneSwarmer proves the new drone ID protocol can't be trusted, which creates a headache for anyone who relies on these signals for safety. As a pilot, I was surprised with how many drones we were able to spawn into the sky just by hacking the standard. And I hope that future standards learn from these lessons and employ more secure ways for drones to identify themselves. If you want to give this project a shot yourself, you can get your hands on a Wi-Fi nugget on the Redia website. As we mentioned earlier, you must use the Airspace Link website in order to make sure that it's legal to fly a drone in your area before testing out Drone Swarmer. You should never use it at an airport or where places where drones are not allowed. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more about drone hacking and aerospace cybersecurity, you can check out more of my videos on the Redia YouTube channel. To learn more about my work, you can check out my website, which is also linked in the description. We'll see you next time.